All right, Oscar nominee Carrie Mulligan stars in the new movie Suffragette, which opens on Friday. The story explores early 20th century London, where women of all classes came together to battle for the right to vote. Nearly all the cast and crew are female. Suffragette puts light on a gritty and little known part of history while making some of its own. How much did you know about the suffragettes? I knew a sort of really basic school version, which is a little paragraph in our history book saying, you know, women got the vote eventually <laughs> somehow. It was a couple of lines and, you know, lots of images of women with flowers looking very peaceful. Fight for women! Fight for women! Fight for women! History goes down differently on the set of Suffragette, a new film about women's fight for voting rights in Britain that stars 30 year old Carrie Mulligan. We're in every home, we're half the human race, you can't stop us all. Mulligan, who's best known for her role as Daisy Buchanan in The Great Gatsby. Mrs. Buchanan. Charmed. Delighted. And received an Oscar nod for her role in An Education. Mr. and Mrs. David Goldman. Mr. and Mrs. David Goldman. Mr. and Mrs. David, you're married. I'm glad. Now plays the fictional Maud Watts, a young laundry worker, wife and mother, whose daily life is dismal before she's radicalized to fight for women's suffrage in 1912. This was a film that was written, produced, and directed by women. How unique is that? Completely unique. Uh, we also had a, a costume designer, makeup designer, set designer, we're all women. Um, but I've never been a part of anything like that before. You know, we were a group of women who were very, very excited to be telling the story. I mean, I think about Maude, who was already very poor, and she loses her husband, she loses her son, she loses her job. She's jailed multiple times, and I think, I don't know that I would have the same courage yeah. as her. Yeah. Do you think you would have the same courage? It's such a, you know, it's such a hard thing because, you know, I've been lucky enough to grow up in a, in a life when I haven't had to fight for anything. The point of our film sort of says, if you won't throw a rock for yourself, maybe you'd throw one for somebody else. We have been left with no alternative but to defy this government. Meryl Streep plays Emmeline Pankhurst, real life leader of the militant suffrage movement, who called for the use of violent tactics like arson and vandalism. This movie is really is not about a peaceful protest for the women's right to vote. Mm. These women are militants. Mm. They're rebellious. Yeah, but after 50 years of very peaceful campaigning, which was rejected and pushed away and swept under the carpet and just being denied Denied, denied. But they don't just throw rocks and hold rallies. No. They'd set off bombs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are blow they, stuff up. <laughs> yeah, they blow stuff up. Yeah. I mean, are they terrorists in some ways? They're not in the modern day sense um, because they were very clear, and Emmeline Pankis was very clear that no human life should ever be in danger. They only ever risk their own lives. Never surrender. Never give up the fight. These suffragettes, they face sexism, police brutality, losing their jobs, force feeding, jailed multiple times. Why was it important to show all of that? I think because we've had such a sort of sanitized version of our history. I left school and I voted because my parents voted, but I didn't really understand the weight of what I had with my vote. The film already sparked a strong reaction at its UK premiere, where protesters against cuts to domestic violence services lay down on the red carpet. And you said you thought it was awesome. Yeah. We felt kind of excited by that. I think, you know, again, being part of a film that sparks debate and has people talking and, and inspires people to, you know, stand up and do something um, is great. And how was it personal for you? It was sort of the first time that I felt really proud to be a woman. I, I kind of grew up with a brother. I was always a tomboy when I was a kid, but you know, I was surrounded by these really, really great, strong, intelligent, thoughtful women mm -hmm. and making this film that we all felt was so important. And I felt really proud of that and really proud to be a woman and really proud to be a feminist. Inspired by her experience making the movie, Mulligan got a new tattoo, a tribute to Emily Davison, one of the first martyrs of the movement. The king's horse in this unhappy incident is running third from last. She was killed after she threw herself in front of the king's horse during Derby Day in 1913. What does it say? Well, so that's old, but that one says, love that overcometh. When Emily Wilding Davison died, the suffragettes had a weekly magazine called The Suffragette. They had an illustration on the front cover, and over her head there was a halo that said, love that overcometh. And why did you want that as a tattoo? Why did you? 
I had a feeling with Suffragette that it was a job that was going to stay with me forever, that it wasn't just a job, you know, I think it's going to be something that will stand out as something really important to me for a long, long time. Mm, you you know, can tell it meant a lot to her. Yeah, this, this I mean, movie. you know, look, you know, we know, as she said, we know this sort of textbook version of American history, of British history, some, you know, about how women gained the right to vote. But when you re watch this movie and you learn more, it's, I, I feel ashamed that I don't, didn't know all the history, mm, you yeah, know? Yeah, and the passion and emotion, setting off bombs, I mean, In that's order to amazing. get the right to vote. Yeah. It makes you, rem reminds you all take your vote seriously yeah. and use your vote what people fought to get the vote. And that's why this movie is so important because so many people don't know that history. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can go to cbsthismorning.com for an extra part of our interview. Carrie Mulligan talks about an issue getting new attention in recent days. Sexism, pay equality, all that in Hollywood. She what'd she say? What'd she say? I know. She's against Go to it. .com. Yeah. <laughs> She's against No, but she does have some, an interesting take on that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, Nora. <laughs>